Hi everyone and welcome to this stretch session for your legs. 12 minute routine, stretching each muscle group for one minute. Gonna hit your bottom muscles, your hamstrings, your thighs, hip flexors and your calves. Really important that you're not injured. We don't force the positions when we're stretching, you gently tease into it. The muscles should be gently stretching. Sensation about two, three out of 10. 10 is you know, painful. Nor is nothing, okay? That's in terms of how much you should feel it. It's a progressive stretch session, and that means we're holding each stretch for one minute. Therefore, this exercise session is best done after a workout. But for this session, post-exercise. Injury-free, don't force anything. The objective is simple. Make your muscles feel more relaxed, feel happier, and make you feel more positive. Really good to do once a week, particularly if you're doing a lot of exercise because it will keep your muscles in good shape and prevent you needing lots and lots of massages. Okay, let's go. We're going to start with your glutes onto our backs. So we're flatten our backs. We're going to start with our right leg. So you're going to cross over your right leg over the left. Walk your foot back towards your bottom on the left side. And that may be enough to feel the stretch in your glutes. If it's not, take that left leg up into the air and you may feel that stretch in your bottom. Now, with your right hand, thread the needle through the hole and come onto the back of that left knee and just gently support it. From here, we're gonna gently breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. And you're going to maintain that breathing pattern. Breathing in, breathing out, allowing that right bottom muscle to get a nice stretch. Can feel borderline uncomfortable, this stretch for your bottom. Just remember, don't force it, shouldn't be painful. As the muscle stretches, you can allow the knee to come a bit closer towards your chest to intensify that feeling, if you need to. Last big breath in, fill your lungs. And breath out. Slowly lower that left leg, unhook. Now we're gonna get into the same position on the other side. So cross over your left leg, over the right, take your leg up into the air. <sighs> Remember level one, foot just walks in, that may be enough for some of you. If it's not, the foot can come up. We can thread through, thread through the gap, take hold of the back of the knee, square your pelvis off, make sure we're not rolling over, and away we go. Breathe in, fill your lungs up. So I want you to keep that breathing technique going. Breathing in, breathing out. And as you continue to breathe in that way, as you exhale, just allow your muscles to relax, feel better, stretch, and give. And as you continue to breathe, you may find that you're able to bring your knee a little bit closer towards your chest. Good opportunity to let your mind rest. Just focus on you and your body and your muscles and how it feels. Last breath out. And let's unhook. Okay, good. From here, you're gonna go and lay on your left hand side. So just pivot up into your bottom, lay on your left hand side, relax your head down on your arm. So your pencil straight. Now from here, we're gonna stretch our quads. So you're gonna take hold of 
that top leg, so your right leg, you're gonna hold onto the foot. So if that's too much, you can hold onto the heel. If that's too much, you'll have to get like a little belt to hook around the foot, okay? But hopefully for most of you, you can hold your foot. If not, you've got a couple of options to go with. Now, tummy zipped up. Focus on your breath, feel your lungs. Now, if your eyes are open at this point, I want you to allow them to close. And that gives you a sense of allowing you to really tune in to how that thigh muscle feels. And as you to really focus on that stretch, remember, it's gentle, the tummy's in. You've got hold of the foot, sock or belt, knees pointing downwards towards your other leg. Now allow your eyes to open, another deep breath in, and relax. Now just slacken the stretch a little bit. We're now gonna hit the muscles around the outside of your thighs, the outside of your quadricep, and the outside of the hip. So hook the foot over, so your bottom leg, hook it over, and you're gonna pull downwards with that leg. Okay? And that's going to stretch everything down the outside of your leg here. Okay? Um, people talk about the ITB stretch. You can't stretch your ITB. You can stretch the muscle component higher up. Your ITB is a tendon. You can't stretch the tendon. Okay? So we're going to stretch the muscle component. We're going to stretch the outside of your thigh. You've got a hold of your right foot. Your left foot is hooking over the right knee. You're gently pulling down with that foot. Pulling back on the quadricep at the same time. Don't be too ambitious. Now your back may start to try and arch here, depending on how inflexible you are. So keep that tummy pulled in. Nice deep breaths, allow that muscle to relax, feel the tissue get longer, feel it relax and feel more happy. Last deep breath in, tummy pulled in, gently pulled down on the knee and the foot. Okay, relax, unhook, leg out. Now from here, a little sit back. Just to release your back, you're gonna pivot around, and you're gonna lay now on your right side. Head on the arm, starting with the quad stretch, all down here. Take hold of the foot, your sock, or a belt, hooked around the bottom part of your, your leg, top part of the foot, if that's too much. Okay, so belt, sock, foot, tummy zipped in, away we go. Deep breaths. Remember, pain-free, mellow, two to three out of 10 in terms of discomfort level. This is a progressive stretch. Session, what that means is we're holding the stretches for longer than 30 seconds, okay? Anything longer than 30 seconds, you start to get a change in muscle length if it's repeated over enough times, okay? So this is why it's really important that this is done after exercise because what happens is when you start stretching a muscle for beyond 30 seconds, you temporarily weaken it. Okay, and if you're about to do exercise and you're temporarily weakening your muscles with a long stretch session, you're gonna leave yourself vulnerable to injury. Okay, so last breath out, relax that stretch. Now I'm gonna hit down the outside of the leg, 
muscle component of the ITB called your TFL, higher up. Take hold of the foot, hook it over, pull down. Keep the tummy pulled in. So you're pulling back on the foot, so you're gently pulling down with the other leg. Just enjoy that nice feeling of stretching your muscles. Enjoy the feeling of tuning into your breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. So we're trying to ventilate all the way down into the bases of our lungs. Allow your ribs to expand. Last one for me, deep breath in. And relax. Okay, unhook yourself, unravel. Now from here, back into that box shape and just stretch back, release your back. Now next up, we're gonna stretch our hip flexors. So our hip flexors come from our lower back, come through our tummy and they insert here. So with this exercise, it's really important that you don't start re-arching your lower back because we won't stretch the muscle. So to offset that, you're gonna really zip your tummy muscles up and hold them nice and strong. So, now, get into box shape. You're gonna bring your right leg through. Now from here, lift up. Your foot, relax at the back. Leg forward a little bit, so you've got, the back leg is slightly back. Chest up. Breath in, and just reach up, and just slightly, slightly lunge into the stretch. And in doing so, hold your shape. In doing so, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch here, okay? So you're in that position, you slightly lunge forward and up, hold your tummy in, feel the stretch here. If holding your arms up here is too much, just bring them onto your hips. Nice easy breathing, just get your hands on your thigh, hips, or up here if you really want to intensify it. And as you continue to give, you may find your body relax, okay? Remember, don't allow your back to overarch. Keep your tummy zipped up. Two more deep breaths. And relax, okay. Now when you come out of this position, flex forward, bring your back knee in a bit, and take your time, okay? Because we're stretching, we don't need to force and rush. Now you bring your left leg through, foot is flat at the front, top of the foot relaxed on the mat. Lift up, so straight away you should feel a stretch through the top of the hip. If you don't, you'll just need to take your back leg back a little bit, okay? It just means you're more flexible, you're not as tight. Hands can be here, keep the tummy pulled in, I can already feel this. Down here in my leg. Breath in, breath out. Hold, keep your tummy tight so you can reach hips or thigh you choose, okay? And you'll feel your body sneaking forward. It just means that the muscles relaxing, you're getting into it.
One more deep breath. And you'll feel you'll end up in a position far from where you started. So to start with, I was up here, and come the end, my muscles relaxed, and now I'm here. Okay, take your time, bring your back leg in a little bit. Front leg comes down, back into the box shape. Okay. So right leg comes through, you're folded over the leg. Again, top of the foot relaxed, but like you're in a start block position almost. From here, slowly shift your weight back until you feel a stretch at the back of your thigh. Just a two to three out of 10. Apply your breathing and just relax your body, relax that muscle. A lot of times I spent these days seated, whether it's at a computer, driving, work. And so these muscles, particularly here, are prone to getting tight, okay? You also get a nice stretch through your shoulders here, just by virtue of being folded over. And again, I can start to feel that muscle relax. I'm gonna do one more deep breath in. And again, like me, you might feel that you've ended up in a more stretched out position than when you started. Now, come out of that slowly. I'm gonna change positions. You're gonna bring your left leg through. Front leg, foot is flat. Take the back leg back as far as you feel it needs to be. Your folders, your chest is gently resting on your thighs and just gently rock back until you feel the stretch in the back of your left leg. Remember your breath. Just allow your body to sort of sink into it. Allow that tension from your brain and mind to go. And just focus slowly on allowing this muscle some attention in your body. And it will respond. It will respond to your breath. So you're using your breath. Last one. Now from here, bring your back leg in a little bit. Slowly allow your front leg to come down. And we'll just sit back again, release your back momentarily. Now next up, we're gonna stretch our calves. So you may wanna take the socks off for this one. Just so you've got a little bit of grip. to prevent you from sliding too much. So, we're in the box shape, okay? You're gonna stretch back your right leg. As your right leg is pushing back, you're gonna push back through your heel backwards. Tummy zipped up, box shape, flat hands or fists. And you should feel a stretch all down your calf here. Feel your foot is sliding. You might have to prop it up on the floor, something that's less slidey. Okay, we're going to intensify that. So you're going to come back on your mat, push your bottom skyward. So both feet tucked under, push up. Now, into sort of an upside down V. Hook. Hook your left leg over your right and just gently, gently drop. So 
bottom just increases that stretch. A little bit more intense. You're also getting a nice stretch through your shoulders by default for the position that we're in. Just adjust your hands if you feel yourself sliding. Now get out of this, unhook your foot, both feet on the floor, drop down into your box shape. From the box position, you're now going to stretch back your other leg, all right? So you're going to stretch back your left leg here, push back through your heel, get a nice stretch all through your calf. Nice, easy breathing. Fill those lungs. Let the air out. Push through the heel. Relax your body. Now, if like me, the stretch is starting to dissipate, we can intensify it by coming back up into that upside down V shape, hook that right leg over your left, drop the heel. That does increase that stretch through the calf, also getting a nice stretch through your shoulders and your upper back. Filling your lungs up. Allow that muscle to stretch. Clear your mind. Let that muscle feel happier. Let your body feel happier. Last breath in. Good. Back onto the knees. You're going to sit backwards. Relax and stretch through your back. We go that concludes our leg stretch session my legs are certainly feeling happier a bit more supple and ready for the next intense workout i hope you enjoyed that really useful to do once a week to look after your body not only making you feel happier but it's really good for your muscles to make them feel more supple and uh, less likely to get injured through tightness and restriction upper body stretch session coming we're going to work on the back and through your arms can be done together with this one or in isolation. Certainly more manageable to do these sessions sort of 10, 12, 15 minute chunks, okay? Hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you soon.